Greetings and salutations, class. An absolutely fantastic week three to all you here in Research Methods Capstone Course SCI 499. I'm excited to be this close to finally completing my degree, and I think I decided to become a lifetime student. After this, I'm going to continue on to my master's degree in astronomy. But for now, let's get into the final project that I'm finding more and more interesting as I get deeper into the nitty gritty of botany. First, let's get a quick breakdown of the basics. The process is fairly simple. I take some seeds, soak them for 24 hours. During this time frame, the seeds will swell in size because they soak up all the liquid, just like you can see right here. After that, they're ready to sprout. Now, the soaking process is the main idea of this experiment. I plan on using a total of five different substrates to see if they have any effect on the growth rate. First, we have dihydrogen oxide, also known as water. The stuff of life. This refreshing beverage is colorless, tasteless, and a basic necessity of all things living. Mm. The microgreen growing method that I'm using in this experiment most commonly uses this as the active soaking substrate. So this is going to be my control group. Next, we have the negative control group. On this one, I plan on using absolutely nothing. Just some seeds in a jar. Some seeds will germinate without any substrates at all, but I'm thinking by the end of the week, I'm still just going to have a jar full of seeds. I'll be completely surprised if anything happens, but you never know. Before we get into the third substrate, we're going to take a short break for our corporate sponsors. Mom, what's for dinner? Water. Just water. Lots and lots of water. You wouldn't feed your kids just water, so why starve your plants? Feed the miracle grow and go from doom to bloom. That's right. We're going to soak these bad boys in miracle grow. Science says it's going to work. We're going to find out. I'm pretty excited about the fourth substrate that we're going to use. Llama sh <laughs> That's right. Organically grown llama <laughs> This stuff is 100% pure extract from Southern Colorado, a llama farm not far from where I live. We got a lot of this stuff. And the last substrate is just going to be salt water. Not much to say about it. It's water and salt. Yeah. So that's all our substrates. That's all five. Once we soak all the seeds in each one of these substrates, we're going to clean the seeds, dry the seeds, probably clean the seeds again to try to get all the bacteria out as much as I can anyway. Going to be hard with that substrate number four. But um, we're going to put them in separate jars and let them sit in the dark for a week. And once the process goes all the way through, I'm going to harvest all the microgreens out of each one of the jars, individually weigh them, and that's how I'm going to get my actual results for this experiment. So that's the basic breakdown for data collection. In closing, I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the week and good luck on week number four and good luck in your experiments in general. Keep on learning. See you soon.